So I had a sort of no expectations that this is a good game. Uh, I've already seen the reviews on Xbox Live regarding it. It's not meant for someone like me. It's a kid's game, but that still should mean it's at least somewhat decent to play. From what I can see, it's not. You might be wondering, well, why even bothering with it then? Well, for the site, really. Need a few games to review, got a couple on the go at the moment. Dead Island, Final Fantasy X, HD, Remastered, whatever, on the PS Vita, Ape Escape, and a few on the, the phone and iPad and stuff, so... But okay, let me find a quick and easy game that I can get into that might entertain, stream a bit, a bit put it on YouTube, etc. and so on. This is what I chose. So, uh, yeah, okay. I am an extremely leggy girl. Whoa. Brafilus. Brafilus is getting away. Quick, you need to stop him before he takes over Alfia. Him then, yeah? So I can be chase. Oh, this is. This is. Uh oh. <laughs> The controls are a bit iffy. After that dude. It looks like shit. Let's get out of there right now. So A is jump. Oh, he lands. She has to stop moving. Quickly push the block. Press and hold the hand button and push forward. Oh, hold A. Oh. Okay, anyone else getting a real PS1 vibe from this? Nope, it's a badly, bad picture of a fairy. Awesome cameras. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I made a terrible mistake playing this, haven't I? Let's do this. What's the point of this? Brothers got away. Gather the get a Winx Club and achieve butter flicks to defeat him. Gather the Winx Club and achieve butter flicks to defeat him. Fucking nonsense. Okay, okay. Right, so. Oh, that music's great. Press back to open shoes according to the menu. Alright, so it's like a, a dress up place, okay? I can't move. Oh, see, it's, oh, I see. You select. What's that? Well, it's got a globe in it, so map maybe. Oh, so sort of like missions, I guess. Okay, I can do that. Let's look at the dress up. Oh, like a catwalk. Purchase 40. Purchase for ch Now I did say before I downloaded this that this does appear to have in-app purchases as well. Which, if that's the case, and that's what it's related to, dress up, then fuck this company. Because this game already costs £7.99. £7.99 for this. And it's going to potentially have in app purchases. Oh wow, I can make that gem for uh, costumes. But we will see. Oh wait. So I collect the blue gems and the two green counters that look like like Ludo pieces. It's going up on the corner. 1202. Seems to be a bit random as well. So what there's like 51 each time? It's a random number, isn't it? Huh. Okay. Fair enough. What's that? Like a continue price press Y. What's happening? LB doesn't seem to do anything. For spitting all those tutorials at the start, it's really dumped me in it now. I was like, okay, I'll keep going this way. Go around right, and collect some gems, I guess. Wait, no, that green counter just keeps going up on its own now. Huh? I don't, I don't, I've, I have no idea what that is. Oh no. The track ended, stopped dead, and then started up again. On, so it was looped today. I don't care what age you are, you deserve better than this. Okay. 
Irresistible wings, eh? <sighs> a door I can't open. It's got a one on it. Nothing other than Y and A, none of the buttons do anything. Ooh, more gems. It, it just ends. The music ends, and ba it's like <laughs> it's like the CD stops, and then it just loop it again. That is shockingly poor. The fuck am I supposed to go? Need eight keys. Okay, that's something. Haven't we found one yet? Yeah, it's not as good to get in your head though. It's got chains on it. Is that supposed to be water? Or ice? I hope it's ice. No, it is ice. It is ice because look at the area. That's supposed to be snow and like it's a frozen over area because look at the windows as well. Look at those amazing icicles. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Like, no navigational arrow or anything. How was I supposed to know I could open that door? No indication, no indicator. I just pressed A in it and find it worked, but no, no, nothing. So is this a level? Are you serious? Siri just heard me all the way over here. Wait, now all the gems are back again. So I can just collect more gems. I don't even know what I use these gems for at the moment. <laughs> oh, this jump. She moves like a tank. Right, let's try this door. You did eight keys. Okay. Right, I'm noticing in the bottom right hand corner, go to it and it will. Oh, there's some water. Oh, we got a chest. We got. Uh huh. I did something. Yeah, I did, didn't I? So I guess I'm gonna go to the doors and pressing A now. I need six burning boots. I don't know what that image was. I hope that the levels when I find them have actual music. So that's just the thing I picked up. I don't think to it. Uh, I've got to find something to go. I've been playing this for 10 odd minutes now and I haven't really found where I'm supposed to go. Right, surely this door then. Right, it's got a Roman numeral for one. Don't take me back to the closet. Be a level. Got a black screen. Okay, so this is different, I think. Well, it is different. And the music's changed. Some rhythm. Now what? Okay. Go for the door I open then. I 
I just found, I found one of the important collectibles. Hey, this, mu this, this music's got a little bit of bounce and pep to it. I can't seem to move these. Oh no, I can. Just got that one. Oh, it's a puzzle. Ooh. Let go of it. I got this. This is probably going to sound really weird, but I like this music in this area. That was unexpected. That's unexpected. I found something I like about this game. I like the music in this area. Need a key. I'm not going to want to leave it now back to the horrible other area. Okay, cool. We call I have a map or something. It's going to be hard to know what areas you've been. Because of the gems constantly reappear. What the fuck? What's happening? What happened? What happened? What happened? I didn't even see what. I, I presume I must have stepped on something, but I, I didn't see what it was. So it's a similar puzzle to the last one. Be too much to I think I can interact. Oh. But, like the other area, the music's just on loop. But hey, at least it's decent. Or catchy. Okay, so different locks for this. As I said at the start, I don't buy this expected quality. I know what I was buying. Sometimes when you uh, run an entertainment website and you don't do enough game reviews, because we don't do enough, you kind of just have to bite the bullet and go, okay, I need something quick and easy. I can stick a review up, get something written up, slamming it if need be, or just having some fun with it. This was the decision. I said, it's not going up. Always got to have a way to review something crap. Some good stuff in the pipeline. Of course, if you are watching or listening and wondering what this website is talking about, it is Games, Brains, and Headbanging Life, GBHBL.com. We review horror, heavy metal, rock releases, and of course, games. Plus, much, much more. You can check us out on social media as well. We're on Facebook, Twitter, uh, obviously, YouTube, Mixer, um, or I've got Instagram, Tumblr. We're everywhere. Check out some of us, us at Stardust. If you've not heard of Stardust, we uh, do Stardust reactions as well. The latest one was to do with Slenderman trailer and the um, Omen 3, The Final Conflict, which was an interesting movie. Yeah, I found 50 gems. Yeah, enough, uh, that's all the self promotion I'll do for now. Oh, subscribe to YouTube, please. <laughs> We want to hit the 10,000 so we can actually goddamn monetize this shit. Yay, open the door. Oh, I found a key. Check it out. But what the hell is this? He won't collect us that video sign and that's door. I guess you can upload the video you collected the key. Hmm. It kicked me out of the area. Why would it do that? I hadn't finished looking in there. I've just got to go back into it now. Why would it do that? Right, so be careful about collecting keys. Maybe make it the last thing you do before you leave the area. Thanks for that game. We left off. We got more gems. Thing about these blue gems is these weren't what I was supposed to be spending um, 
to unlock costumes as far as I can see. It's the gems below the silver ones, so you know what that is. If you if you know your everything You did it! What you did this? What the fuck? This is quite annoying. No idea what that is. If you know you're uh, free to play um you're free to play games on uh, either um, I guess Xbox and on your phones and stuff like that, then you know how this works. A free to play game will always have two different currencies. I'll open the lever. But that was the one I opened before. I need six keys for that one, but this one. Three for that one. Okay, so I guess you visit areas. Oh, I've got to do the same thing. I only want to go around and get the gems again. Yeah, so you'd know, um, as I was saying, you know about currencies. There's always there's always an in-game currency and a premium currency. Premium currency occasionally gets dished out, but that's what you spend. That's your speed up timers and your um, premium purchases. You know, it's the one that costs money. No big deal. All games, have, most of them have them, so it's no major surprises there. So that's what I suspect that is at the top. 59 of the in-game currency and zero of the premium currency. Now, bear in mind, like I've said, if it's running the free-to-play model, which it appears to be, and it appears to be to a degree, um, I did not get this free. This was seven. I've hit that thing again. Simply just have to wait until it stops. What the hell? I wish I'd looked out for what it was. Right, if I have to come back to this area again, I will keep an eye out for it. Yeah, sorry, what I was saying. Yeah, £7.99. It's £7.99. It's almost £8 was spent on this game. So for it to be running, the premium currency option within that purchases, it'll be interesting to sort of see. I'll check before I finish the stream. I'll check and get an idea of what you're expecting to pay for costumes. Now, bear in mind, this is aimed at, obviously, a young audience who may, may be a little bit more, oh, I want that costume, you know, I'm, I can do a flight, fuck, she controls like a tank, um, I don't care what she looks like, but, you know, someone of a younger age might be, buy into it a little bit more, want to pick up a few of those cool looking costumes, so I will say, we'll have a look, and, uh, those prices will always have a bearing in the review, particularly, as I said, I paid for this, you did not give this game to me free, I feel like that should be a lift, but it's not. Okay, at least I'm working out how to open and shut doors. Now what? You know, I don't need a cutscene every time I come to a new area. I can work it out myself, game. Thanks for that. Oh, it's the same area. Oh, this is going to be a fun platforming. Oh, she, Jesus, the controls in this game are absolutely shit. I made it. Another. Yeah, it's going to do that every time I go in, isn't it? Right, so that must be like a checkpoint if you die. Although dying doesn't seem like something that happens. What the hell? The so you need to get a running run up. Which, fair enough, is realistic to real life, but. <laughs> Who wants that? Ooh, pretty chest. Got a purple lid. What's this one? Uh -huh. I presume the numbers are the amount or the collectible card number. I guess this... Oh, I just picked up a key. You know what that means. Even pressing B. Just kicks you out of the room again. <sighs> Alright, let's go look somewhere else. We've got two keys and see what we can do with it. You? Got a potion on it. Ooh. I have no idea what that counter in the top left hand corner is about. It's 26,000 now. I haven't got a clue. Now, what's this room? Back to the cool music, though. Just play that throughout the game. I can listen to that. What 
Where the hell is in his room now? Come on, gamer. Give me a helping hand here. It's really funny. It's like it's it, I guess it's expecting me to know. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I I I I don't have no clue. Is this a franchise? Is this a, a kids thing like as in toys or a show? I'll have to check it out afterwards. Look at this, it's brilliant. I'll have to check out afterwards um, before I end up writing up the review to try and work out quite... Oh, she's stuck. Work out quite why this seems to be expectation. I mean, 65, that's a monster, I guess. Are there actually going to be enemies in this? I can't... What use is that going to be? It's not like I can fight. Is that? There's nothing else in here. Oh, well. Do I, again, do I need a cutscene to watch her walking through? <sighs> oh, this song. Okay, that has two hearts in it, so let's go in here. I have no idea what these rooms are. If it would be nice, it would at least tell you. It's this room again. Right, perfect time to do it. Let's have a look at these uh, purchases then, eh? As you can see, uh, Bloom is 40. Right, so 40, 50. These are all um, premium prices. If I press RB, I seem to be able to... Oh, so you can spend those points in the corner on these, or keys, I guess. Or pretty prices as well. Bit less, but more of less keys, more of the green things, more keys. Jesus, there is a lot of costumes. Okay, let's go and have a look and let's try and purchase. I don't know what we want to put her in. This one. So it costs 40. So, oh, see, so they do that as well. Like, so let's say. Fifty. Right, the stream paused there as it took me to the purchase screen. Three pound nineteen for fifty gems, which would allow me to buy buy one of these. So three pound nineteen for a costume. I'm gonna check as well. I wanna pause the stream again and look at the because it goes we've got 20 50 100 30 400 going all up to 20,000 gems I'm going to look at how much it costs well it's a totally reasonable amount of 13 pound 19 which is almost double the price of this actual game So yeah, costumes. Now, that's right now. That's all I can see. It's way, that's all I can see is where you spend the premium purchase. Now there may be something else a little later on. I have to find out. Right. So the one with two hearts is the cost. See, this is stupid as well. So like, all the chests close again. I mean, do I have to open them every time, or did it just count? Oh, I press. Oh, I pressed back. I wanted to see if there was a menu. <coughs> actually, yeah, I can actually have a look over here. Get the costumes. Let's have a look at this. See what this thing is. Booster packs. What? Oh, so it is like collectible cards. So once I've got them, I got them? Yes, there's the ones I collected at the beginning. There's a lot. Uh, 154. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at booster packs. Ah, oh, fuck you, game. Honestly, fuck you. 150 gems. So I've got to spend three pound nineteen. Three. So you'd have to spend that, which has got to be five or six quid. That, which is probably 199. Got booster packs. So just so we're clear, folks, this is doing. This is this is operating on a free-to-play model of premium purchases when it comes to costumes and what the booster packs relate to the card, which is obviously what you collect. Probably the main point of the game, the collectibles. Considering there's going to be fucking anything else to it. 
and they're all the premium purchase, of which I have zero. The game didn't give me any at the start either. It's, you know, normally in these types of games, you get a few at the start to try and encourage you to spend some more. It's a zero. I've had zero. I've been playing it for 25 minutes, not found a single one. But that would all be fine. Operate the free-to-play model if you're a free-to-play game. This costs $7.99. Looks like it was made for even less. Controls that absolute dog shit. And the worst thing is this ain't aimed at me. This is not aimed at 30 plus man. It's not aimed at anyone below the age of 10, I'd imagine. But it's so bad. I'm not sure who the developer of this is. I didn't look. I'll have to look, but they should be ashamed of themselves. And uh, I will be reviewing this for our website and I will be brutalizing it. Unless I find more I play, I mean, I'm not going to review it until I've made it to the end. I say that like with a question mark because what's the end of a game like this? I don't know what the fuck. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. There is no clear direction. This is what you have to do. Do I just run around this castle collecting gems, finding keys until I've unlocked all the costumes? I mean, half the doors, I some I can open, some I can't. That's. I found a door with a one in it, and that was the end of it. That's the costume placed again. There was nothing in there. It's in the chest. It's back to the starting area, so I'm going back to that door number one again. Anything we can do with this? No. So back to door number one. Trying for more keys. So you can at least skip that part. Cutscene as you go through the Resident Evil door, door walk through. That song is driving me crazy. I would suggest you play on mute until you get to this location, and at least things get a little bit nicer. But see, look, you come in and you have to do all the fucking puzzles again. If you. I'm still wondering where. I haven't seen anywhere what I can collect. The um, oh, sorry, not collect. I can use the in-game currency. That would be nice to see. <sighs> right, let's try and move a bit further along. So as I collect the gems, the count on the right going up. So oh, I, I completely forgot to see what that was again. <sighs> Three times I've hit that, and each time I forgot to see what's actually hitting me. So there's a counter of 14 out of 100. Two out of 11 keys, two out of eight of the red. So at least there's a counter there that gives me an idea of what I might need to be doing. All right, let's spend some time in this area before I stop. And uh, avoid picking up a key, because I cannot believe picking up a key, because there's 11 of them keeps you completely out of the game. That is utterly absurd. Is this supposed to move? God damn. I do like the music in this location. I found something. No, I've already seen this before. Jumping is so difficult. It really is. I, I'm, I'd like to see what happens when she dies, but I don't want to fall in there and then lose, like, have to restart the area. You don't know this game at all. And have to pick up all the gems again. The fact that the fact you come in the area in the same chests are there as well. If I touch that key, so that's it. This area. That's not good. No. Well, gotta find out. Is that kind of area seems seems to work at least a bit. At least stop. Yeah, do as well. 
40 out of 100. We had our 11 keys. Uh, sorry. 9 keys. I've already collected 2 of them. I feel like I've seen everybody the game's got to offer already. Let's see if the wall's there. This game is shit. <sighs> so that thing is supposed to move. So it would go over there. How? Now let's just complete the puzzle again and open the main door. With exciting news, my counter is up to 30,000 and slowed down somewhat now. That's because they don't want me getting any costumes. So why why is that counter slowed down so significantly? 582 to 591. That was going up 50 plus. That, that went up nine points. And nine points at a time now. Hmm. And why is it going up? Uh, I'm going back up to that lift first. Let's see if we can get the damn thing moving. Put it off that chest. Oh, I almost jumped for the roof there. Oh, it's just not the card. Or the same card. Look at that. Awesome. Right, I need you to go over there. I have no idea what this is about. I can bring it down and get LB and RB, but I can't do anything with it. Move. But don't then. You did it! Right. Let's hope we can find a new area because, oh, what the fuck is supposed to go now? Right. Open with a lever. Right, I need a lever. Anyone? Is she for real? I think she's stuck. <sighs> yes, this is actually happening now. Oh, she stopped, finally. I just have to lock that door again. Silly girl. I don't know. I, I don't know where I might have missed. I thought I'd looked everywhere, but I don't even know what it even would look like in this game. It's all bright and colourful, but it's not like... It's not pretty to look at. This is no boy or something like that. Super Lucky's tail. I feel like that lift's got something to do with it, but I don't seem to be able to get it moving. Yeah, I feel like this is a cartoon, like a kid's cartoon. I don't have the slightest clue. The thing I do works. My options are literally A. That's the only button press I've got. I'm uh, beginning to reach that uh, point of frustration now. You know the time when you feel that the game's just taking the piss, and it's like, yeah, 
There's absolutely no reason for it to be this uh, confusing. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? No map, nothing. Why the fuck want that door open? And that's it. This is literally the area. If there's a lever, it's bloody hidden. You did it! Yeah, I did what? On the chest. <sighs> you know, I'd be fine with going out and, uh... finding another level to find more keys in, but from what I could find outside, there were no other levels. love to know what that does. Nothing works. Every button pushed, nothing. I cannot find... <laughs> right, from what I can see, there's only one area I haven't checked for a lever. She's all the way back at that jumping area. Back I go there then. Fantastic. Light or anything? Nope. I'm going to go check out a bookcase. Opened with what? This is... Did I miss that door? Huh. Cool. Found it. Apparently I completely missed the door. She looks great. She looks now I've got a lever. Push the lever. And that's going to move the lift, isn't it? Yes. Now we're talking. Now we are cooking. <sighs> With charcoal. Or something. Oil. 
Now we're cooking with human fat. The eight, 59. Oh, I'm killing it now. I was going to end the stream about 10 minutes ago, but now I'm going to carry on. Until we've done this whole area. Or well, at least until I... Would you please stop doing that? And another lever. Ooh. Oh, cool. You're going to fall down. Scout around. Yep. Yeah. Find the chests. Gems, gems, gems. What's that about? What the fuck? What you doing? Oh, what did you do? Where have you put me now? Just shake her head and say no. She's not going to open the door. So, is that characters or costumes? It better not be costumes if it implies that I'm going to have to buy costumes to fully 100% an area, get all the gems or keys or something, then this game might be pushing its luck a little bit too much. See how slow the uh, green counter's going now. I'm going to regret trying this. Yep. I got impatient. Yeah, bear in mind that uh, some of those costumes cost 150,000 of those green counters. It's only going to take a little while, isn't it? Okay, there's a vent here. Right, this is one's actually... Oh, and I've got a uh, continue area. Ah, that would be why. This looks going to be an interesting one to cross with the jumping mechanics of this game. When it's all cracked like that, that implies like it's going to break, you're going to sink under it. Oh wow, the jumping's so bad. I hate it. Like, you never feel safe jumping in this game. Okay, so I was enjoying this music. And while it's still better than the uh, song that's playing in the main room area, it's just on a loop. <laughs> which is uh, pretty freaking much. I'm not jumping this badly. Oh, you are kidding me. This is her. Look. That's what you want platforms that fall with crappy jumping mechanics. This is just going to bring me to the key, isn't it? I knew it. And it's going to piss me off by making me collect it. I don't want to pick that key up. I don't want to. But getting back there's going to be a massive headache, so I've got to pick it up, don't I? You did it! Oh, damn it. Okay, I pressed the video icon to see what will happen and I hope that it won't kick me out of the level. It did anyway. <sighs> How are you supposed to get anywhere? Like, if I go back in that level, all those gems I've collected will be gone. So basically, there's no point trying to collect the gems until you've got all the keys, or at least up into the final key. All right, let's sort of see what we're looking at here. Now we understand a bit more. Killed monsters, so there are bad guys. Nine keys in the first room. So does just, I guess, just, uh... So it's, it's two arenas. Second arena and first arena. So obviously the first one I've been in for a while. Means there's a second one around somewhere. <coughs> Oh, hello. What are you about? You did it! What's that mean? 
Wink. Can I play as her? She gave this little blue gem thing, and that was it. I'm thinking about it. I wonder if Y is like collectible characters. Alright, before I stop the stream, I'm going to go back to the costume room. See if it's like she's in there now. Uh, I think the answer is going to be a no. Still not enough to even get Stella. Oh no, as another character is. Oh, for fuck's sake. So Bloom, Stella, Flora, Musa, Tecna, Aisha. Aisha costs a lot. So basically, none of the costumes are going to be. It's just to unlock her, I guess. Seven keys and 50,000 of the friend points, I guess. That means to get the last character. Holy shit. <laughs> that was taken as well. I didn't even look at Aisha. And there are two options. Music on or off, shop or credits. Let's have a look at the credits. Let's see the people involved in this. Two people. We've got some producers. I know, oh, you know who I'm looking out for, right? It's a lot of game designers. A lot. Story and dialogue. Fuck off. Tusamanga Studios suck. Nick, Haley, Patrick, you did a crap job. Hmm. I'm actually. Uh, I wanna. I wanna see uh, if they had quality control. Take no. It's actually not that many people. A lot of names are popping up several times. Xbox One version. A very handful of people. assurance <sighs> they did a terrible job so that's it as I said throughout the stream it's 7 dollars on Xbox One it looks like shit it plays like shit the controls are terrible she moves like a tank um, it has a free to play model that seems to retire in purely the costumes and the collectible card section which seems to be a hefty part of the game um, and those prices are quite high unsurprisingly in fact the highest amount of gems you can buy is almost double 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 the price of this game coming in at just under 14 pound and this game was 7.99 so quite a bit it's not very good and it might be aimed at a very young audience but look at it. The kids deserve to be taken advantage of this. When I was growing up as a kid, you know what I mean? It would never have ever even looked at a game like this. The games I grew up with a kid. Look at that. The music just fucking stops and goes back on the loop. What the fuck is that? Jesus Christ. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check us out, yeah?